Aaron Redpath. They can see the Badgers dressed in their home whites. McMaster in the road grays, and we're ready to go here. Brock and McMaster. Brock winning the first matchup between these two teams back on November the 4th, 83 to 75. A quick start for McMaster and a quick basket for Troy Joseph. Controlled the tip and as a result, raced down and scored. Janelle Simpson will feed Ryan Bennett. Bennett step back, loses his dribble. El Gaddy averages more than a double-double as he knocks down a fadeaway jumper. And that's going to be a key to this game as neither team has a big per se in the middle, but they do run a lot of action into the middle. Aaron Redpath from J. Clark Richardson High School. Entry pass goes to Boney, and he scores two on the interior. And again, there's a player, Rohan Boney, from St. Ignatius of Loyola in Oakville, who has emerged as a player that can play inside or outside as he ends up playing a little guard when Redpath is not in the lineup. El Gaddy with a spin move and traveled with the ball and will turn it over. He was being guarded by Gilmore. And speaking of coaches, Coach Kissy at Brock and Coach Conley at Mac. Coach Conley in his fifth season now, it seems that it hasn't been that long. And, you know, keeping the Badgers in the, or sorry, the Marauders in the conversation nationally. And happy birthday to Coach Conley today as well. And what a way to spend your birthday as Marshall will throw it off of the McMaster player, Gilmore. Four two Brock with the early lead. Here's Brown. Marshall on the perimeter. Worked it inside. He was looking for Simpson and the ball slipped out of his hands. Simpson is the second leading scorer on Brock. 16.9 points a game. Al Gaddy flicks at 18.9. Certainly two players that the Badgers have relied a lot on this year as Leon Alexander slashes in and scores for Mac. Great crossover by Alexander. 6-2, McMaster. And there's another player that Mac, you know, you hope that he is going to have a big game because him and Joseph together can be a very lethal combination. Red path up fake will settle for a long two and he knocks it down and McMaster's out on an 8-2 run early. Even though this is Aaron's final season, a uh, number of times I was on the Mac campus in the past week, he was always out doing extra shooting and getting that stroke going. Bennett will feed Simpson. Ball on the floor. Good spin move by El Gaddy. Count it. And the foul. Foul was on Troy Joseph, who picks up his fifth. And that's, or sorry, first. That is the first one of the game. El Gaddy going to the line, looking to complete the conventional three point play. El Gaddy, third year from Waterloo, 6'7, 210 along with his 18.9 points a game, John, almost 12 rebounds. That's big because you have to be able to control that glass to get a lot of those points. And Alexander will cross over again and work his way into the lane, getting fouled on the play. Marshall picking up that foul, and Alexander will go to the charity stripe to shoot two. Alexander. 64.7% from the foul line, and he's going to be greeted by noise-making Brock fans behind the basket. And it worked on the first one. I am a little surprised that game management is letting those guys get that close. So we'll see how that works out over the course of the evening. Home court advantage right now, John, as Alexander is one out of two from the line. Now checking in from the Marauders, number 44, Lazier Kojevic, an engineering student from Oakville who has been a pleasant surprise off the bench, uh, certainly can hit the three-pointers and has contributed offensively for the Marauders. Al Gaddy, Brown, will put the ball on the floor, crossing over. Now pulling it back out, eight on the shot clock. Marshall works his way in. Good spin move, high off the glass, can't get it to go. And there he's sticking it back in. Doing what he does best is Al Gaddy. 
So far, it is El Gaddy 7, Mac 9. Leon Alexander, good spin move, gets his way to the basket, was partially blocked though. Good play by Simpson. Brown in the open floor will feed Simpson. Brock wants to run, pull up in the lane. Spins and no good, tip no good by Marshall. Batted around and out of bounds to McMaster. Well, not quite as quick a pace uh, as the men, or the women's game that preceded this, but nonetheless, both teams are moving down the floor, up and down the floor, pretty quickly. McMaster looking to take the crowd out of the game early. The last off of Connor Gilmore from the Marauders results in the turnover. That's something, obviously, you want to limit those mistakes that you make because you don't want the opponent to turn them into points for themselves. Tyler Brown. Neil Simpson. Marshall Simpson, catch and shoot for three off the front rim. Gilmore with the clear. Push up the floor. Here's Boney, back it in, working his way in. Left hand scoop shot, good for two. Second basket of the contest for Boney. As I said, he can get inside. He does have some hops, and he is second on the Marauders with on the dunking scale, apparently. Al Gaddy will face up. Gets Alexander up in the air, and Denny Al Gaddy says, I'm pretty good on the dunking scale as he flushes one home. Well, so far, it's as I said, it's Al Gaddy 9 and Mac 11, so. I would think the Badgers might want to get some more players involved in the scoring. Aggressive defense, and the foul will be committed by Tyler Brown. 5.34 to go in the first quarter. All nine points for Brock by Danny Algaddy. Neutral McMaster 11-9. Rohan Boney leading the way so far for the Marauders with four. Dave McCullough, the Cardinal Newman from Stony Creek product, checking in for the Marauders. And off to Joseph, he goes to the crossover. Trying to work Ryan Bennett. Three-pointer is up and it's no good from McCullough. Rebound underneath. Alexander can't stick it back in. Boney with another attempt, and he gets it to go. Rohan Boney proving his efforts inside paid off. 13-9 Marauders. Matt Marshall. Ryan Bennett inside it goes and Al Gaddy again. Working inside this time fouled and going to the line. So Brock not interested right now John in diversifying the offense. Leon Alexander picking up the foul for the Marauders there. El Gaddy going to the line with two attempts at the charity stripe. But one thing of note so far is Mack has gone into the bench with three, eight players thus far having hit the court. Al Gaddy gets to the foul line often. This is his 125th foul shot of the year as he knocks down two and has scored all 11. You're gonna need another page, John. I think I'm okay. <laughs> But nonetheless, you know, it shows that, you know, Max got to do a better job on him as well as Alexander drives in. The rebound grabbed by Koyevic. Koyevic then goes right inside. Good strong move by Joseph, can't get it to go. And the rebound ripped down by Marshall. And Brown tried to force the issue. Stolen away. Joseph, Alexander, strong move. No, or excuse me, that was Boney. And it is going to be out of bounds, and there'll be some clarification needed before it goes to McMaster. Coming back in from Rodgers, Connor Gilmore. Here's a player who's one of your grittier types. He does the dirty work, grabbing rebounds and playing defense. So El Gaddy is probably going to be his primary focus when he gets to the defensive end. Skipped across and then turned over as El Gaddy with the steal, Brown with the push up the floor. Lost control of it, but that's okay. Bennett is there to collect and reset for Brown. He'll stop and pop for three, and that one is off the side. No good, and it's out of bounds off the leg of Gilmore to Brock. Nobody other than El Gatti has scored so far for the Badgers. 
And the first substitution for the Badgers, Zach Angelini coming in. Trevon McNeil just checked in for Mac. As uh, someone from Mac said to me, it's going to be a case of our 10 beating their 7. El Gaddy again high off the glass. It's a force, and it's no good, and Gilmore with the clear. Handoff will go to Trevon McNeil. Outside it goes for Korovic. Missed the three, batted around on the rebound, and cleared by Marshall. Brown in the open floor. Simpson will work it around. Gets it back again. Simpson penetrating. Teardrop is good. Certainly a little give and go action that evens things at 13. Three and a half minutes left in our first period. Aggressive pace. Catch and shoot for three by Joseph is no good. Brown wants to push the issue. Doesn't have the numbers, so they'll play half court. El Gaddy directing traffic. Drew Neal Simpson cues up a three pointer, and it's good. And Brock has the lead. And now Brock is finding their other options. Well, when you get outside and you can hit that, that opens things up inside. Badgers' first lead of the game. Catch and shoot and a three-pointer by Gilmore is no good. And McMaster going cold from the field. Simpson with a reset. Marshall will work it to Brown. Off the screen. Simpson, ball on the floor. Gets it to Marshall off the glass, and he scores two. Nice work finding the open man who is cutting to the goal and the easy layup for Matt Marshall. Fifth year forward averages 10.2 points a game and just over eight rebounds. Good cut to the basket, but a big block by El Gatti as he denies Korovic. Back comes Simpson. Another floater in the lane, and it's good. And Brock with a seven. 